Hey guys and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to talk about this camera, the Exasystem. So guys, I'm back and one of the things that are new is that I have a dog since um, January 2019. Rio, sit! Sit! So perhaps you will see him in my videos really often. So yeah, I'm back and I'm going to upload videos more often. I promise that I'm going to upload the videos that I promise you. Like how to do, uh, how to do double exposures in some cameras. Uh, um, more tutorials about the cameras um, and a lot of things about photography also about history of art and many many things but let's talk about this exosystem first because you are watching this video to know about this camera so for analog cameras I do three types of videos the first one it's about the camera in general that is the video that you are watching right now about the exosystem the second video that I'm going to do is how to upload the film and basically all the settings that you need to know about the camera this camera or all the analog cameras that I have videos in here and the third video is the action one so I'm going to use the camera, go out, shoot and then show you the, the pictures <sighs> okay so let's start with this camera, the Exosystem that I actually really like I found it in Berlin when I was living in Berlin I'm not in Berlin anymore, I'm in Mexico as you can see it's sunny and it's November and Berlin is not with this weather also I have like this t-shirt so yeah in Mexico the weather is pretty pretty good now the exosystem is German this was built between uh, 1954 and 1955 so one of the curious things about this camera is that it wasn't manufactured by the normal company that it was Ike, 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 oh my Deutsch it's another manufacturer it's called Reichenmetall so this, this company actually exists still but actually this company got a license from Ihage um, to build a couple of years this kind of camera this camera was built in Dusseldorf or in Berlin because the company was between Dusseldorf and in Berlin so I hope it was manufactured in Berlin because it was like, mm, I love Berlin. But well, let's talk about the basic of the camera. This camera is an SLR, which means single lens reflex and uses a 35 millimeters lens. So it's really nice because you can use the film that actually is really common right now to have this film. I really like the composition of the camera. From the design of the camera, it's one of my favorites. This one and my TLR are one of my favorites talking about design the lens and the components i don't it's not my favorite but the design is one of my favorites <laughs> it's mainly made by metal like it's not that light it's a bit heavy it's not that heavy like the other ones that i have but it's not that light and you can see that it's strong you know there is a lot of cameras that are made by aluminium or plastic that you know that if they fail they're going to be destroyed like a lot a lot but this one is it's okay it's with metal and the design and the composition is really nice the lens is a 50 millimeter lens and it's an f 2.8 made by, by carl size uh, gina it's a called the lens which is really nice lens carl size made really nice lenses so it's a it's a good lens although it's an f 2.8 and i prefer 2.4 one point i mean 1.4 1.8 but it's a good lens um the thing that i love 1.4 and 1.8 is because i do a lot of portraits but this is really good for portraiture also but also for landscapes the speed is a bit limited here because it's one divided by 150 so it's not that speedy um but it's okay but you need to then analyze which which film are you going to use and which iso because you are limited by the speed so perhaps in a really sunny day and you have an ISO 400 in your film perhaps this one won't work really well so you need to analyze which um, film you are going to use for this camera so just keep in mind that you have a uh, limited speed so it's not that speedy so just keep in mind that one one of the things that I like the camera is the shooting the location of the shoot shooter so when I bought it, of course, I exploded cameras and I don't know how to use it at the beginning. 
and then I was, where is this the shooting? So I thought it was this button, but no, it's not this button. It's actually this one, which is pretty clever because it's just a mechanical thing. And you have the lock in here. This one is the, the shooter, look. And then, and I really like it. And one of the things that I love the most from this camera is this. It has the viewer like the TLR and I really love it. So when you are, when you just took the picture, you cannot see anything. And then you roll it and then you can see the picture. So I can see you guys, well, my camera. And then I press it in here. So it's a really vintage style, I like vibe that gives you this camera. It's pretty cool. I really like it. So, and the viewer also is, is stunning. I really love it. And, and the thing is like, I don't know, you, you already roll, you roll your film and then you don't want to ruin your, your film. Then you just put the lock and then it's secure. And it's a tiny lock, like it's just this one. And I'm like, the design is just really clever. It's like it's spectacular. So I really like it. And the, the viewer in here is just amazing you are going to see the details about the function in the next video that it's the how to put the film and how to use it, this camera so one of the things that i really like about this camera is that it's 100 percent mechanic it's good and bad it's good because you don't need battery to use it it's bad because you don't have the light meter so you need an external light meter if you want to have a light meter, like external light meter, and go 100% vintage, then you can buy an external light meter. You just need to check how to use it. If you want just to use your cell phone, then there is an application that I use a lot. So if you want to use a really vintage camera, since how to use it, how it looks and everything, this one is definitely a good idea. I don't know how many or how hard it is to find one of these because I found it in Berlin and it was made in probably in Berlin, but it's really nice. Like if you see one of these, I really recommend it. And when I'm doing analog photography, I want to feel the vibe to do something that is really antique and vintage. And I actually use a light meter, like an external light meter. I have my light meters with me and of course i check it they're calibrated with my cell phone but i go full analog so i really like it and the advantage of this camera is that it can use a 35 millimeter lens which is easier to find than a midi form and 120 millimeters so that's it about this camera i promise you that i'm going to upload videos more often promise like my goal is to have at least one per week about analog cameras photography art and in general so just comment below which topic do you want to see first because i have a lot of comments from the past to ask me how to use a lot of things and how to to do a lot of things so i don't know where to start so okay let me start with the cameras that i have already and let me do a video about the cameras that i have already but if you have any ideas or any requests just comment below and I will do a video about the ideas that you have because of course I do this video for you guys and I do it with a lot of love. You know, I love to do this and I promise I won't disappear again. So you help me in here. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like it. I hope it's useful. Remember that I will upload another one that it's um, how to use this camera, like how to put the film and then another one about like the action like when i'm going use a film and then go out and then you will see the results stay in touch in my youtube channel remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when i upload a new video so thank you very much for being here i hope you really enjoyed this video and we will see each other really soon with a new video so have a wonderful day and thank you very much bye